not the coach's fault. Here come Valencia, however. Guedes looks to thread that one through to Soler. That is 2-0. Simon Sassa slides in at the far post once again. Carles Soler is the provider. And Simon Sassa nets his second goal of the campaign. That's what I was saying about Malaga. If it does come three or four, that might have to change. Once again, though, lovely team goal from Valencia. Guedes puts it out to Soler. Santi Mina's offside there. Does he go for the... Yeah, that's... I'm going to be honest, that goal should not stand. Nothing to do with Sasa. Santi Mina, however, watch the number 22. He's offside there. He tries to play the ball. And by trying to play the ball, the linesman should be lifting his flag. Nothing against Sasa. He's in a legal position. Santi Mina, however, was offside. Mina, who's made space. Parejo in an onside position. Still Danny Parejo. Well, taking his time. The Malaga have got Ben back. Montoya in support. Sasa! of pace and patience on that counter-attack from Valencia and Simone Sasa nets his second of the night and his third of the season it's really intelligent football this by Danny Parejo he sees he's not got an option there clips it back to Montoya he looks up and there, Sasa makes it three. Spanish, if you a diving header, they call it a plancha, in plancha. Basically because I think plancha is an iron. I think if you look at that, it looked like an ironing board, the way he held himself in. Great header from Simone Sata. And Valencia suddenly challenge on Guedes. All of a sudden, it's looking a bit of a stroll for Valencia. Sasa, can he finish his hat trick? He can! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It is all falling apart for Malaga. Simone Sasa completes his hat trick. And Valencia are flying. Well, they were said that what they needed to do after improving the club's defence was work on the attack. Well, they've done that. This is a horrible goal for Malaga to concede, however. Diego Gonzalez. Luis Hernandez. It's Luis Hernandez who's basically caught napping. Great, great pressure from Santi Mina and from Sasa in the end. Sasa picks his pocket, stabs it past Roberto. 4-0 to Valencia. You know, and I'm trying to think of a difficult save that Roberto's made. Nearly every chance Valencia have had has ended up in the back of the net.